Uh, 
uh, quite different kind of music uh, from uh, the John Cage's yes. music. So, and it was uh, mainly reason uh, I used uh, John Coltrane at a third part for a speech. Yeah, it was very, uh, it, it had a so amazing uh, groove. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was very Did you know that you wanted to use John Coltrane yeah. all along? You yeah. that in advance? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, to be to be honest, the old music yeah. uh, and I, I used yeah. at the piece yeah. uh, was uh, uh, was at uh, my shelf. No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> my compact <laughs> disc shelf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah I only choose yeah. <laughs> them. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, mm, yeah, the, as I said before, I, uh, by using the different kind of music, uh, I, I expected uh, to uh, make a different kind of uh, performance, and, sh yeah, and I hope to uh, be able to show a uh, different kind of experience to audience. Yeah, but uh, the same, but uh, they have all the same, uh, same uh, idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the idea, um, which is about the relationship of people in, who share the same space on a regular basis, is that um, something you've explored before in other work, or was it you who started with your tradition? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I usually uh, be interested in uh, thinking about relationship uh, movement and the spoken word. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what is a new uh, and uh, yeah, the unique mm -hmm. at this piece is uh, the I incorporated mm, the idea of music uh, uh, into the piece. Yeah, yeah it was a new, mm -hmm. you know, and it was only. Mm. And how um, how is Maybe this piece, or just your work in general, how does how is it like or different from other from what's happening in contemporary Japanese theater um, now? I mean, is it <coughs> like right now, for example, in Philadelphia, where you work on this uh -huh. trip? Um, in Philadelphia, there's kind of a brand, a style of mm. theater. Like it's even though you know people are, are different, you know, pig iron is different from um, uh, I can't think of the other company. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are you know three or four or five companies that are very different, but there tends to be an interest in um, similar ideas and the aesthetic even feels similar. For you, is is it like that? Japanese theater, in, 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 or at least in your world of theater, is there, are there a group of people who are making work similar to you? And if not, how? Yes. Uh, uh, in, in, a, in one way, uh, yeah, I think we can see the similarities. Uh, where see the um, we just observe the yeah. uh, contemporary Japanese scene.
the important. Mm. Mm. Then, yes. Yeah. When when yes when making or thinking about the yeah theater mm. piece. Mm. Mm. And is movement. Yes. A big part of the yes. scene now. Mm -hmm. Or uh, yes, uh, yeah, thinking, thinking movement yes, is yeah, yeah one, one of mm -hmm. one of those yes, and uh, uh, try and trying to uh, separate to be separate mm -hmm. uh, the performance, the physical movement on the stage from uh, the meaning of the text mm. or uh, character mm -hmm. uh, on that story. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I think it, it is also on the mm, uh, large uh, character yeah. mm, in all recent Japanese in Japanese yeah. theater scene. And are young people the audience for that scene? Or in the U.S., the theater scene mm. is, in some places, is largely mm. gray hair, but <laughs> older. Oh. <laughs> is, oh. it, is it young audiences, like your age, contemporaries, yeah. in the audience? Uh, yeah, we have. Yeah. Uh, young, young audience. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah. the, the age of audience uh, depends on, mm. on the play. Yeah, it's in some play. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the young people are part of it. Like yeah, I was yeah. in Israel a couple years ago, and in Tel Aviv there were a lot of, a good, a good amount of mm. young playwrights and mm. directors. and. There were lots of young people in the audience mm, yeah. when they were seeing the shows. That's that's yeah. So you're seeing. Mm. And then, can we talk a little bit about working with Pig Iron? Okay. How did you come to meet them? And um, mm. it's your first time mm. working with a U.S. company. Yes, not only U.S. but also yeah, foreign. For, yes, foreign. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. And then in, in working in English. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so talk a little bit about how you met them and what that process was like. Yes, uh, it was 2010, mm -hmm. and then the, the my play called Enjoy, yeah, which uh, was selected by myself mm -hmm. several years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that play uh, was uh, uh, created as a uh, English language version. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was performed by New York. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the, pro yeah, th the company mm -hmm. uh, who produced uh, that English, English, English yes. Enjoy mm -hmm. uh, chose uh, the, the Rosenberg as a director. Oh, I see. It was, uh, it was our uh, meeting point. Mm -hmm. So that um, I I saw that yeah. I, I went to New York okay. and saw that saw that I loved it. Yeah. yeah, I I was happy to uh, see a, a great yeah. great relationship yeah. between the performance and the audience in New York. So that yeah, I I was. Uh, as you see, I was not good at uh, uh, catching yes, yeah. the English, but yeah, but I, I could feel that. Yeah. And uh, the dance uh, also uh, liked my way of writing plays. Yes, yeah. 